Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, January 29th. This week, we're just gonna jump right in here. You have this motion card and this cleansing card. Uh, I feel that, uh, you know, it, it does seem to be like an action taking week. And so a lot, you know, you could just be taking action after like a long period of time. So, you know, or of like no action or no movement. Uh, you do have the tower here. A lot of people again have had the tower this week. Again, this is just gonna keep happening for, I don't know, like 20 years or something like that. But, <laughs> uh, you know, there could be a global tower moment, but also you have the storms card that says cleansing on it. Uh, I do kind of look at the tower as a cleansing card in a certain way because the tower, you know, the whole point of the tower is that those people have been protecting themselves too much. They've been uh, ignoring reality, basically. They built the walls of the tower too high around them. And now the universe is uh, causing this tower moment to bring them back down to earth so that they can see reality, you know? And so a lot of you, it's like you could be getting a truth or seeing the truth. I'm pretty sure I said, in like in the last reading I did for you, maybe for February, I think, um, you know, I'm pretty sure it was you that I said something about the truth. Like I titled your reading something about the truth or something like that. And, um, you know, it's it, you, there, there just could be some sort of truth that's being revealed to you or like a truth that's coming out. And it's like not a good thing or a bad thing. It just, you know, it's about seeing the truth. <laughs> and, you know, I think that it's just that simple. So, uh, yeah, it looks to me like you're ending around, around, uh, you know, something that's been repeating in your life. So, um, you know, this kind of gives me the vibes of you maybe changing your story in your life, which you fix signs for whatever reason. Um, you know, it seems to me like you fix signs are really very much focused and fixed on changing your story in your life, which is, again, this is obviously a good thing, not a bad thing. So you could be improving or changing like the story that you tell yourself or the, you know, the words that you use on yourself and, you know, all that other stuff. And, you know, I think that you are kind of going through a little bit of a metamorphosis here. Again, that Storms card says cleansing on it. So I would say that this tower is kind of like a cleansing tower or one where you could be removing certain things from your life. But again, it's probably for the better. Uh, you have the Nine of Cups. Uh, Nine of Cups, of course, can be a card of wish fulfillment or wishes. And so I feel for some of you, you've been hoping and wishing for something. You know, the Nine of Cups really is a card of bathing in the energy of something that you want. It is a card of, you know, matching energy of something you want. So I kind of feel that, um, again, this could have to do with the story of your life, like, you know, you know, the story that you tell yourself. And you could be seeing or realizing, you know, what parts of your life don't match, what parts of your life do match. And, um, you know, you could be trying to uh, make sure that the words that you use or the things that you say about yourself, you know, all that other good stuff, it, you're like making sure that it actually matches up with the life you want to live or something. You have the Two of Pentacles here. It's like a decision was made is what I feel like saying here. Um, you go this way, Net of Wands to the Chariot. It's like you made a decision in the past to, um, you know, charge towards something or, you know, move towards something. I'm not, you know, and... You know, there's something about a decision here or a choice that you made. I don't even know where this is going here, Aquarius. So let's clarify because <laughs> I don't know why this is important. So why is this uh, decision or choice that was made? Like, why is it important? Uh, you have the two of pentacles, you have the three of pentacles. I feel like this had to do a lot with like what people, you know, how people perceived you or see you or something like that is what I'm getting. You have the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is a card of quality work. Like he has done a good job here. And so I feel like some of you made a decision maybe based off of like what other people would say or, um, you know, like how, you know, how they would perceive you if you made a certain decision or, or something like that. And um, I feel like you're not doing that anymore. It's like this kept you, whatever this was, maybe it kept you stuck here with the Eight of Swords. It's like, I don't have like a good example for you here, Aquarius, other than it's like, I don't know if you all remember when I had my studio, it's like, um, you know, everybody t like t in my life at, the, at that time, like talked me into getting the studio. And it's like, not that I, I'm like, I'm not mad at those people or anything. Like I should have just said no. Right. But it's like, I didn't, I really didn't want it <laughs> at the time. Like I didn't start this. I, like, I started this as a hobby. I just like, this is fun to me. I don't want, I never wanted it to really become, you know, like a business, you know, or to like have a studio or anything like that. And, um, but everybody at the time was telling me like, oh, you need a studio, you know, like all this other stuff and everything. And, um, and it's, and it's like, I, la I allowed those people to make that decision for me, right? And um, and it's like, I should have said, no, I, that, that, I don't care what you want. <laughs> this is not what I want, right? And so I could have used my words, totally my fault. I don't blame those people. Um, but, you know, again, I kind of get that here um, where, um, you know, it's almost as if um, you could be saying that, you know, you're, maybe you made a decision or you did something because other people, 
told you to or you know how they would feel about it or whatever and i feel like this made you feel stuck or has made you feel stuck you know with the tower you have a higher friend some of you could be experiencing a divorce but again it looks like you're already going through it because it's showing up in your past position here so you know again you could be going through a separation or a divorce with the Nine of Cups, you have the Emperor here. See, I feel like you're taking the lead on your life. I feel you have learned that you need to do things that you want to do, you know, and it's kind of quite simple. You know, I think this is why we always talk about the truth with you as well, Aquarius, because it's like you're learning that, like, you have to do your truth. You have to live your truth or um, you have to do the things that, you know, you actually want to do, not what other people expect of you or, <laughs> you know, not other people's, like, expectations or other people's, you know, feelings about your life or whatever and so I kind of feel like you're taking the lead in your life um, so far so let's keep this going uh, you have the soulmates card and this come to the edge card some of you could be attracting a soulmate you have the six of cups as well six of cups is my card of the soulmate so definitely could be true love and you have the two of cups another card of a soulmate so you know if you're looking for love definitely could be love definitely could be a fire sign as well you have a bunch of fire cards here but could be any sign take it how it resonates that come to the edge card is saying that you're gonna have to push yourself outside of a comfort zone uh, to get something you want. The, um, you know, the come to the edge card really says that if you want something great in your life, you have to push yourself to that point where you would normally give up and then, you know, go like one step farther to get what you want in life. So I kind of feel that energy here. Uh, you have the eight of swords, the um, knight of wands and the strength card. The eight of swords is about setting your, is about self-imposed restriction and like setting yourself free. It's kind of interesting reading because I kind of feel that you're Again, don't blame yourself for anything, Aquarius, you know, but, um, you know, like I said, you know, it, it's my, the whole office thing was my fault. You know, for some of you, like I said, to be kind to yourself, don't blame yourself. But I, I almost feel like you are seeing how uh, keeping yourself stuck in something or whatever was because you didn't stick up for yourself or whatever. And again, it's not like a bad thing. You know, this is a good thing. I feel like you're learning how to stick up for yourself or learning how to say no or learning how to get what you truly want in life. And again, I feel like this is, this is a good thing. You have the Knight of Wands here. Knight of Wands like in and out energy, um, but Knight of Wands is also about moving towards your desire. And I think that's what you need to have strength to do, to do right here. You have the strength, two of cups, and the sun. It's like literally saying that you have to have the strength to go towards your happiness. You have to have the strength to... Um, listen you know to kind of listen to yourself right and to move towards the sun the sun is your joy your happiness it's what you truly want as well the sun represents your inner child um but there's that wall uh right here behind the baby or the child on um, the sun you know there's that wall there so the wall is kind of like the wall that we all build up against our inner child all the reasons we can't do something to make us happy because we're like adults or you know whatever whatever we tell ourselves right and so i kind of feel like the strength card you know, strength to me really says that you have put in the practice to do something though. So, you know, I, I it's almost like there's nothing you really have to do. <laughs> I kind of feel like you already have done something or you, you know, already have worked on something or already have created something uh, that could be making you very successful. So like, I would keep going here. Um, you know, I, I almost feel like there's really nothing that you necessarily have to do. Uh, I feel like you've been putting in the work, you've been taming your inner beast or your inner critic here. And, but I do feel like you have to have the strength to move towards like what your heart really wants with that two of cups. Two of cups is like you and your higher self communicating with your higher self. And again, this might require you to um, walk away from something traditional you have the Hierophant here. So the Hierophant can represent traditions. We are we are in a time of this because we have Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces is a direct challenge to traditional belief, meaning you're, you're raised a certain way. Um, you know, if you've been in a relationship for a long time with a person and, and things go, are a certain way, if you've had a job for like 20 years and things are go a certain way, um, then Neptune and Pisces is like a direct challenge to those things that you have always been doing just because. And... Um, and it's not about, it doesn't say you have to change anything. <laughs> Neptune and Pisces is just like, why? You know, it's like the little the little two-year-old that's always asking why, 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 right? And so I feel for a lot of you that, um, you know, there could be something in your life where, um, that, where you are questioning it. It, it. It's like, you know, the other thing, like I said, with Neptune and Pisces is it doesn't necessarily have to change. It's just more about being curious and looking into things. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Things have been very slow. I, you know, I think things have... Uh, taken too long here, Aquarius. I mean, it, really, it is your time to shine. You in with the sun. We have Pluto going is in Aquarius right now. It's going to retrograde back into Capricorn, but you know it'll officially be in Aquarius in November. So, you know, I kind of feel like for some of you that it it, it is your time to chi to shine and like stand out. And the Knight of Pentacles, no movement. So I feel it's time for you to stand out. With the Knight of Wands, you have the Temperance card. It's like. 
you know, it, like I, I feel like there's something that can't be fixed in your life. And, you know, that can be very frustrating as well. Like if you've been, I'm, I'm wondering if some of you made a decision to try to fix something again. It could have been a relationship that you went back to. It could have been, you know, a business where you you tried to fix it again. And it's almost like sometimes like certain things, it's better to just start something new or to start from scratch than it is to like try to fix something that's broken. And maybe that's what the universe is trying to get a, the point across here. I don't know, it is a weird reading. With the uh, strength card, you have the 10 of pentacles. Really, it's not a weird reading because the only thing I would do if I were you is go in this direction here. Like I, uh, this is what I would focus on is, you know, moving towards the sun, moving towards happiness, joy, you know, the good things in your life, things that you actually want in your life. The Ten of Pentacles is building and leaving a legacy. It is everything you want and desire in your life. So I feel for a lot of you, it's about kind of like moving towards the sun here, like I said. Um, it, you know, it looks to me like there is a lot of joy and happiness that could be coming in for you here. Uh, I also feel there's a lot of um, success. The Ten of Pentacles is like building and leaving a legacy. And so a lot of you are kind of like working on long-term changes in your life. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this younger woman card. It could just be a younger person just in general. You have this hat card. It says you will be playing a different role. The whole entire reading basically says you're leveling up. You know, it's kind of what I feel here. Or you're getting ready to establish a new crown. You know, there's the hat. you have the hat and the hat is kind of like a crown. The crown is falling off of the tower. So it's almost like you are, um, you know, I feel like you have been rebuilding the tower. You know, we always, whenever the tower gets reduced, it always gets reduced down to its foundation. And then we always rebuild it bigger and stronger. At least we should. <laughs> That's what we should be doing. And so, you know, the top of the tower is falling off because it is weak. It needs to be rebuilt. And it's almost like you are uh, developing a new crown or you're finding a new crown, right? Even the sun is a crown. Uh, you have the chariot. The chariot, he is leaving behind that city behind him and he doesn't really know where he's going. He's just allowing the universe to guide him, but he is setting himself apart. And I, I really feel maybe that's what this reading is trying to spit out here, right? It's trying to say that you are trying to uh, find your own identity. You are trying to find your own truth and you're not trying to live everybody else's truth, whatever, you know. So again, I think that on a very deep level, this has to do with Aquarius's identity and who Aquarius is. It's like this reading isn't even about anything. <laughs> it is about you just discovering who you truly are or, you know, discovering the things that you want to have in life or be in life, you know, all that other stuff. I do feel like this will lead to a victory again when you kind of like discover your own self or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you have the Two of Cups here. Two of Cups is a perfect match. So I do feel like there could be a perfect match coming in for you here. Uh, this could be in love or otherwise. But, um, you know, again, I kind of feel this is also you and your higher self. I feel in those moments where you feel confused, that would be a great time for you right now to... Um, you know, tap into what your higher self is saying, like meditate, rest, relax, recover, uh, go for a walk, take care of yourself. Like all those are ways of connecting with your higher self. Like it doesn't have to be anything intuitive or anything like that. Sometimes we just need to take care of ourselves and that's like enough. Uh, pay attention to your dreams. I kind of do feel like your dreams have maybe been a little bit more on fire recently or have been a little bit deeper. And so pay attention. You have the Six of Cups here. Again, this could be a soulmate coming in for you if you want it. I really feel this reading is talking about your inner child. Like, what do you what do you really want? And what does your inner child want? Um, what, what have you been protecting as well? These two children are being protected by this guard right here. And so you have this, you have the sun, where the sun is your inner child, but you have the wall uh, behind the baby on the, on the sun card. And so it's like, there's something that needs to be revealed inside of you. And it's something that I think you maybe have been saying you can't do or you can't have or whatever. Like sometimes I think there are those things where we're like, well, I can't, um, you know, go do this creative thing or this thing that would fulfill my inner child because I have responsibilities, which is probably true. It's like, you know, maybe there are certain hobbies and things like that that you, your inner child wants you to do. There are certain moments where your inner child wants you to play, but you can't because you have like a job or whatever. But I feel like the Six of Cups is saying like, well, how can you anyway? How can you, um, you know, find the time or even just do it for, a short period of time, right? With the Six of Cups, you have the Six of Swords. Moving on to Commerce Shores. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love Two Sixes. Uh, two Sixes to me uh, kind of represents going in the right direction. I look at it as major confirmation for your path, right? You know, to me, Two Sixes basically says you're going the right direction, you're on the right path. So love it. 
Uh, with the two of cups, you have the five of cups. Uh, five of cups is a card of regrets. I do feel a little bit of regrets here. I'm not sure if it's you or a person. And again, take it how it resonates. But and, and I'm totally not calling you out here. But I do feel like some of you maybe walked away from a person or a person walked away from you and there are regrets here. I'm not sure. I don't even know where this is going, you know, if I'm being honest. Because, um, <laughs> you know, I, again, I don't trust any intuitive that claims to know everything. And, and we're not meant to know everything. Uh, but I, but again, I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks to me like there could have been a divorce or a separation in a situation where there was a lot of love and now there are regrets. But the Five of Cups like has a very easy solution. It, it kind of like says like maybe there are regrets and maybe like I was saying earlier, you can't go back to the past or whatever with that, um, with that Hierophant and the Tower. But the Five of Cups is a card of needing to turn around and be grateful for what you do have, which is two cups. And you have the two of cups. So it's like literally saying, once you let go of something that you have lost, that you uh, no longer have, you will get the bridge and the castle on the five of cups. And you have the two of cups here. So it's almost like saying to me, um, you might, maybe you have regrets, maybe they have regrets, whatever. Maybe there's just shared sadness between two people here. But if that is your story, I kind of feel that this is saying like, once you forgive it and move on, you know, you're going to attract something much better. Look at this right here. With the chariot, you have the star. Amazing. <laughs> this makes the reading much more positive because, you know, you go from the tower to the star, which is exactly what we want in a reading with the tower. The star comes up after the tower and it just represents healing from a tower moment. Uh, the star is also about having a North Star, kind of like something that guides you. I do feel like you're moving in new directions. I kind of feel like this year, you know, really the next 20 years, but again, it's not gonna take 20 years. It, it, it's gonna start now. And, you know, transformations take time. But, you know, I kind of feel like this could be the year where you look back on 2024, like once we get to 2025, and this is the year where you're like, you kind of maybe discovered who you really are, even if you're like 90 years old, <laughs> doesn't matter. I feel that you could be saying to yourself like, oh, you know, these are, I, like, I know this doesn't sound important, but I like, there might be little tiny things throughout your day that you add to your day, like moments of enjoyment with the six of cups, the sun, or moments of play or moments of um, where you do something that you actually want to do. Not, not, you know, maybe you just take five minutes where you meditate or you do something you want to do. And again, I kind of feel like this is going to be the moment where, where, um, you kind of actually do that, where you t take the moments to do something for yourself, right? I don't know, that's what I'm getting here. It looks amazing, 10 of Pentacles, Sun, Star. Sun of the Star is fame and fortune. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna become famous, but you know, it's really, really good for getting attention. Uh, you could be, a, if you want love, by the way, whenever I see this, I mean, you could be attracting a person who gets a lot of attention as well. And uh, you know, again, this could be a very solid connection. It could be a Cancer, like you literally have Aquarius Cancer here. It uh, could be a fire sign emperor. It could just be, it just could be a boss, like a person who is a boss. You have a lot of fire here though. Uh, next, you have the social media card coming up in the area of the good stuff. It says, make money with social media. It will be very lucrative. There you go. Grow your social media presence and build your reputation for knowledge. There you go. So if you want to do that, great. Uh, you have this card that says, it's okay to be different. Don't try to so hard to fit in. You know, like Aquarius people are like pretty freaking weird. Like I know a lot of Aquarius people. I'm an Aquarius rising. I have Mercury in Aquarius. Um, I was born on the cusp of uh, Pisces and Aquarius. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty close to Aquarius and I'm pretty weird. So I totally get it, right? Um, but again, I feel this is saying like your weirdness, especially with Pluto going into Aquarius, your eccentricity is gonna be the thing that makes you stand out. And clearly sun and the star, you need to stand out. Literally, I think that I, I think that your your key to success over the, your next 20 years is to do something uh, that brings attention to something that's special inside of you or uh, for you to shine your light, right? Uh, or for you to, you know, be an, a living example, as I always say, I think that's probably the best thing that Aquarius can do. And to be a living example, you don't have to do anything really. You know, it could just be you, um, you know, it could be you having a family. <laughs> we, we, you have the 10 of Pentacles, which is like building, leaving a legacy. It could be you building a family with another person and, and building a legacy. It could be you um, starting a business. It could be you, uh, maybe no one in your family has ever gone to college. Uh, Hierophant, we were talking about breaking tradition, right? But we're breaking tradition in a good way. We're breaking it. it tradition uh, the, that are like negative traditions, right? Or um, or just, you know, doing something that could be inspiring to people in your life. And here you go, you have the sun. Uh, doing that will clearly uh, get a lot of attention on you and will be a good thing. You have the nine of swords. Um, nine of swords is a round around situation. I kind of feel like you, this like it's coming up in the area of the good stuff here, Aquarius, but I kind of feel like you need to get an answer or something is what I'm getting. Like if you're thinking about something, 
uh, you know, you, this could be anything. I'm literally getting anything. Like maybe you want a raise or a promotion and you're like agonizing about it at work. I think you just need to like go and ask for the raise or the promotion. If you want love, for example, maybe you just need to like go ask a person and stop thinking about it or whatever. Cause I almost feel like you're making something a bigger deal than it actually is. Again, it's coming up in the good stuff. You know, that would tell me that you're probably gonna leave the comfort zone, but you know, I kind of feel like you need to make a move here. And you have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is about seeing that things can go another way. <laughs> it's like, maybe you think there's like the world's truth, Aquarius's truth, and you think only those two things could be true, right? But really the Two of Swords is about a third place solution. I always say it's my card of third place solutions. I believe we're in a time where we need to embrace third place solutions, but there's new, this new island behind her and that new island is like something that she has never thought of. It's an opportunity or, um, a way to do things in life that she has never thought of or imagined. And I kind of feel, I feel that it's like saying, you might be thinking there are only two options in life to do something, but there might be many. Uh, with the sun, you have the devil. Could be attracting a Capricorn as well. It's coming up in the uh, the good stuff. Also would tell me that, you know, the sun cleanses things and you have this cleansing card. So the sun is like a disinfectant. And so a lot of you could be removing like toxic situations or people or ha bad habits or whatever from your life. And it could be creating a lot of improvements. With the Nine of Swords, you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is a card of stability. I kind of feel like you're improving your financial situation. So, you know, again, your financial situation could just be improving here and you're making more money. Uh, with the Two of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about going on a new adventure. And yeah, I, like you're, I, I, I feel that your next 20 years is gonna be very different than your last 20 years. There's gonna be a lot of changes. I also think that there's gonna be a lot of happiness coming in for you. It also wouldn't surprise me if you are attracting a fire sign. I mean, clearly you have like every single fire sign card here practically, uh, or it could be a very fiery person as well. Uh, you have the, the like, <laughs> you can't make this up, Aquarius. Wouldn't be an Aquarius reading without the indecision card, right? So you might be indecisive or you might feel indecisive or like you can't make a decision. But you know, this here is like an angel that's trying to guide you. So, you know, I would tap in, like I said earlier, into your higher self. Uh, let's see. Uh, you have this isolation card. I feel like either someone's pulling you out of isolation or you are pulling a person out of isolation. So there could be love coming in for you here. And again, you could be removing, you could be like removing someone from isolation or pulling someone out of, you know, an isolating period or something. Uh, you have this revenge card. You know, I would be careful of past people or a past person, especially if it is a fire sign <laughs> um, here. So again, you have the tower. I, I don't think there's anything to worry about here. I would just, you know, ignore it. And yeah, you have this acquisition card. This is my fancy couple card. I definitely feel you could be attracting, you know, uh, kind of like your person if you do want new love. Um, I also do feel you could be acquiring like new skills or new ideas or something. I, I also have like inheritance popping into my head as well. So you could be, because you have the 10 of pentacles, but you know, with this card here, it could be like you uh, get an idea from a person who gives you an idea that could lead to more success or something. Definitely popping into my head. And uh, finally, you have this independence card. Yeah, I feel like you are very independent at this time and you could be working a lot on your independence. I, I feel like if, if you are attracting a person that you could be attracting a person who is very independent as well. But uh, this looks really good. So, um, you know, pretty simple stuff. Like I said, I do feel like you're going under, like undergoing a deep change. <laughs> and so it does, it's kind of like a weird reading. I it, Like on one hand, it kind of feels heavy. On the other hand, it, it seems like you're embracing your, like your own happiness, but it's not even heavy in a heavy sense. It's more like you've undergone a deep transformation and you're coming out the other side, right? So love it. Uh, thank you for being here though. And definitely enjoy your week.